Guys, Chris Bond from the Sock Mob blog here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an atomizer device for intranasal administration of drugs. To do this, all you need is a simple nebulizer kit from your emergency department. The reason why I like to use an atomizer is because you can do intranasal drugs like ketamine, midaz, fentanyl. You could also do a directed oropharynx nebulizing as opposed to a regular nebulizer device which seems to just kind of coat the cheeks and the tongue with all of your Lido or whatever else you're using. So you only need a few things. First, standard oxygen tubing, a pair of scissors, whatever you're going to be putting into your atomizer. In this case, I'm just using some normal saline and a standard nebulizer kit. So open your nebulizer kit. You have a bunch of stuff in there. Toss everything except for your bulb for your nebulizer and your tubing. So for your tubing, you only really need the end that goes into the bottom of the nebulizer normally. The oxygen tubing end doesn't matter. So take your scissors, cut it off at about six inches, and then you can take this piece and you just slip it into the top and it fits like a tight snug fit into the nebulizer device. And then take your oxygen tubing, attach it. Now you've got an atomizer. So just to show you how this works, let's put some normal saline into it. Tap back on. Turn on your oxygen. There you go. You can see that fine atomizing. So now you can use this either intranasal or you can see it has a nice curve to easily go into the posterior oropharynx and then you can get a good reduction in the gag reflex. And then you can use your long atomizer tip to get the cords themselves. So again, this is Chris Bond from the Sock Model Blog. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time.